Hey everybody, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Titan chain, transport chain. This is a 5 16th chain. I have it in the 10 foot variety today, but it also comes in a 20 and a 25 foot. And I'm tying down this mini excavator today, and I'm testing out a couple different chains to see what works best. Now with this one being a 10 foot, it's ideal to just kind of tie down one corner of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it back here around to itself. Get it secured back here. And then I'm going to run it up to the stake pocket up front. Now with that 5 16 hook, this is ideal for this style stake pocket or this size. So I'm just gonna drop it down in there, hook it back into itself. And you can see we still have some slack there. That's when we're gonna use our Titan chain binder today. I like this binder a lot. This one works with 5 16 up to 3 8 inch chains. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have that extended out as far as it will go. And then I'm just going to get this hooked out as far as it can go. And begin taking out that slack. So we're just going to start ratcheting that down. All right, there we go. We've got a really nice tight chain. We're ready to begin going around to the rest of our chains and making sure everything's tightened down accordingly. But this is a really nice style chain. I like the length of it. We have a 25 footer on here on the other side and it's just too much chain for this trailer if we're going to tie it down properly. With this load, we need to have five chains. So I need to have one in each corner and then I need to have one for the boom as well. So I kind of like shorter chains. They're a little bit easier to manage when I'm getting stuff tied down. And when we talk about that 4,700 pound working load limit, one by itself is not enough to tie this down, but all five of them together I think that's the way to go. So yes, the 4,700 pounds is not enough for this mini excavator, but if we put five of those on there, we're totally gonna be safe. And I think that's a much easier way of getting things tied down accordingly instead of having one giant big chain in the front, one giant big chain in the back. It's just less hassle when we go this route. This is a really high quality chain. If we take a closer look here, we can see that 5 16 links. And this is a grade 70, gold chromate finish, so it's a high carbon steel. It's gonna res resist rust and corrosion, and it's gonna last for a long time as long as you properly maintain your chains. Um, you know, after a while, they're gonna look like all your old chains that you have that you're replacing, but it's a good idea to periodically check to make sure we don't have any damaged links, we don't have any damaged hooks, everything is working accordingly because when it comes to moving heavy stuff like this, the last thing we want to do is have a chain that's not gonna hold up because one of these chains breaks when we're going down the road that's that much less that we have holding this down which is definitely not a safe way to go now when it comes to choosing the right size chain it all depends on your load and what you haul most often so here's three common ones that we see a lot i have a 5 16 a 3 8 and a half inch and they come in all varieties of lengths usually the half inch those are going to be in the more the 20 foot and up where the 3 8 and 5 16 those can be down to like 10 and 16 foot. I think that this style, you know, probably about a 4,700 pound working load limit with this one from Titan Chain. This one's 6,600 pounds, and this one is 11,300 pounds. So if you're using your chains in the right configuration, um, one in all corners, if you have a boom putting it in place there, you can get away with using a chain that doesn't by itself hold your load in place. But working those together is when we get that working load limit up there. So I find that it's easier to use these smaller chains to maneuver them around, store them. I kind of prefer this style, something right in the middle. This 3 8 is really nice because it can fit down in my stake pocket just fine. So you can see there, I think this is a really good setup. But this one's not as difficult to maneuver around as this heavier one, but if you have the need to get up there with those heavier loads, 
this is a really good way to go. Now, this Mini came in today with quarter inch chains. Now, if they use the proper amount of these to hold it in place to those working load limits, then you're definitely gonna be okay. But something you wanna start checking out before you head out on your load is making sure you don't have any damaged links. So the chains that came in today didn't have any issues, um, but that is definitely something we've seen before where these links start bending and stuff just starts wearing out. You know, after a while with these are holding those loads down and they're rubbing up against one another, you can start seeing some signs of wear and it's just not a safe way to go. So in my opinion, if you pair this style chain, a smaller diameter one, and you have a binder that matches it, the chain was 4,700 pounds, but the Titan chain binder we had is a 5,400 pound working loan limit. So go with whichever of those two numbers is the lowest. But if you use the proper amount of chains to get a heavier load like we have here today, I think this is a much easier way of going but still maintaining a safe towing weight and you know if you want to go with those larger chains totally a good way to go to those there's nothing wrong with them i personally just like a few more smaller chains versus really long heavy duty chains that are just going to be a little bit more work to get them put in place but that's going to do it for our look at the titan chain transport chain